This is lapel video you haven't seen. Video from APD canine handler Scott Weimerskirsch. In it, James Boyd's legs. The defense showed this to show just how close the dog handler was to a man armed with knives who told police he was going to kill them. Weimer Skirsch said he put a plan in place, a plan with less lethal tactics that included lethal backup. He told Keith Sandy to use the flashbang. Then the dog didn't react the way it was supposed to. Sandy and Pettis, both assigned lethal cover, opened fire. By shooting Mr. Boyd, what did Officer Pettis and Detective Sandy do for you? Uh, saved my life. The defense got up on a table to demonstrate how it was from the officer's perspective that James Boyd was still armed with knives on higher ground. Now, what you saw was a man six foot two. I'd, I'd, I'd tell you that I'm six foot two, holding two knives. Is that correct? That's correct. But prosecutor Randy McGinn jumped on the table too. Then the state asked the dog handler why he didn't open fire on Boyd. You did not pull out your pistol, aim it, and shoot Mr. Boyd, did you? No, I did not. You did not pull out your pistol and even aim it, did you? Uh, my dog at that time was coming back, so no, I did not. And they said this was never a full SWAT call out and the scene never properly organized. Okay, closing arguments are scheduled for tomorrow, and then a judge could decide if he thinks that these two officers should face criminal charges. We'll be here for all of it. Back to you.